Vassal gonna be first up versus Ballas. We got these two goobers trying to go for the cheesy one shot burst with one another, both using resonator trinkets, except Vassal using the unused resonator or resolve trinket. Boss using the passive one, but both are trying to burst each other. Boss actually immune to CC. Fassel getting hit with a mortal coil. Looks like Boss is the one trying to set up some bursts. Trying to go for a decimate bolt versus Fassel. Fassel with the Aegis trying to see if he can back up out of there for a second. And Boss wants to get in there and make some damage happen. Fassel just bailing out of there. He's going to go for the port. Big gateway literally left into another zip code. Just trying to get out of there completely. On to two. We got ourselves Acer chilling in the back. We got ourselves Jesus. We also got ourselves Joel as well as Prov and Zai. Oh! Darker and Dwarf Prov with Fassel taking a bit of damage, getting into the boss, but does get the axe sauce in between from the Felgar pet. It looks like it's going to be a bit of blasted with the Fassel, but it does leave a lot of that one shot potential out of Fassel. Unless he got one shot it earlier and we just missed it for a second. Fassel summoned up a turn of his own. Boss is going to bail out of there completely. On team boss, we got us some tag, fake tags in the background. We got a holy moly here, as well as Judy, as well as Beck. Oh, that's my favorite mog of yours. I like that one a lot like the belt and the hat and the shirt the whole thing dude the whole get up I'm a huge fan of that one gonna be a big drain by Ballas on the Felgar looks like Fassler is gonna back up out of this somebody's zone this is gonna go for a couple of the shadow bolts and him to go dance in the back as well try to build up for his own big damage I think bosses it's his turn to go for burst gonna be stunned for stun and boss will at least have a resolve trigger to give him some cc immunity Vassal out in the open mortical hitting him with a fear to follow he might not be able to do much that's gonna be big decimal will set up does boss himself the biggest burst possible Vassal could be a big big trouble Forge, but he's still out in the open trying to see if he can bail out of there boss is gonna send in at least one bolt in there second bolt looks like it's not the biggest damage but he's trying to make some bolts happen interrupted to Vassal into a tyrant shadow fear around the corner to see if maybe have a port on top he does have a port there's gonna be dark back back up for fassel quick stone into boss trying to disrupt him still has one more decimated bolt ready to go fassel finds himself extremely low health there's gonna be more pets getting up for boss does get disrupted trying to go for oh i think the pet actually got him fassel goes down trying to avoid the one shot for balls but the pets themselves with a tyrant with the fell guard with the vile fiend all those pets actually do quite a lot of damage Oh, Provenza Pro Proven Provenzano? Okay, Provenzano. As a sub rogue. Trying to see if he can go for the big current burst with Ballas. It's gonna be another desolate bolt set up. Big, big deal bolt to follow Provenzano. Can he cut a little help? Just go for a vanish? He can't really go for a shot or anything. Might not go for proper restealth. No vanish. That's gonna be Ballas kinda charging into the room, but he can't really AOE him out. Although back in Legion, Warlocks did have Demonology Warlocks. Did have that one ability. It was like a Demon Wrath, where your pets would radiate the shadow damage. And you kind of just like Demon Wrath your main Felgar pet, and then kind of maneuver him around the room to kind of find rogues. Or you just mount up and you would charge him with your pets, jump forward, Demon Wrath, and maybe the A we would find somebody else nearby. Uh, that was pretty cool. Cloak of Shadows for Provenzano, trying to see if he can reduce as much damage as he can. Evasion as well, so he popped all the defensives, just trying to live through the Felgar damage burst versus Ballas as he got himself a dark pack rolling. Provenzano looking for a bit of a reset. Getting a couple stabs into balls. Getting a shot to follow. Kirin Burst coming out. Does he have the big Kirin Burst? Maybe with a vanish. Maybe that's what he saved it. Stun onto Provenzano. No trinket for him. Balls. Does he have any kind of damage setup? Mortical versus the Rogue Fear. That's going to be a vibe and join in. Does he get himself maybe a big setup? Tyrant to follow. Hand to go down. Second hand to go down. Does he maybe have some big burst? Vanish by the Rogue. Looking for that quick escape. It makes you wonder. What kind of a second legend is this rogue running? Because we know he's Kirin. He got the Kirin Lego on him. But what kind of a second Lego is he running? I've been seeing rogues running the 100% crit Lego. And with the Kirin burst, if you just vanish with a big one shot, it's massive. But I just don't know what he's running for. Going to be immediate stun onto Pro. As he's trying to get himself an opener. Ballas has just got so much counter pressure on him. All those pets loaded up. Amped up by the tyrant. At least amped up in duration by the tyrant. Able to jump on the rogue immediately. Provenzano going for the Kyrian setup. Where, by the, onto the pet. But he mostly wants to go for the damage onto Ballas. Able to survive these demons for a while. As we're about to hit that 5 minute mark. Ballas is, is going to go for a bit of a flesh cut. The, pet, the pet's actually doing a lot of work to the rogue. Wait. Actually just might die behind the pillar. Unless Provenzano makes a play right now. The is just dead. Got himself a sip pickup. Is it the Kyrian Pelagos to pick up? It is. Does give himself a little bit of survivability, but that's stun. He's barely alive. He's on his last leg. Oh no. That's going to be a big pour for Ballas. Try to see if he can stay on top of Provenzano as best as possible. What the? Is Dark. Wait, Taxi's some accident summoned Darklet and Darklet's actually chasing after Provenzano. Does it do damage? Wait, what's. What the. 
Does Dark Lair do damage? I know the Dark Lair does damage based on the dots that you have, but I don't think Taxi has any dots. Bro, he's getting PvE'd? Uh, literally. This is like, it's almost like he's running into like a Legion raid and he's literally just getting PvE'd by mobs, trying to drop down a Resonator. This boss is going to get hit by it. Uh, does it even do anything? Does the trinket? I know the trinket still plays the animation, but does it actually do damage when the person dies with it? But let's go to boss taking him out with the army of the demons. Did 3k damage? Okay, that's not bad. But yeah, I, first, I was so confused for a second. Boss trying to set up big burst for Zacer. Acer barely getting a chance to play. Okay. Acer, like the rogue got PvE'd, but that was, what would you call that? If the rogue got PvE'd, what just happened there? Gonna be Joel walking into this army of the demons. At least he can maybe deal with demons a little better being a paladin. Gonna be a decimate bulk to set up. Boss is going in person from one guy to the next. Gonna be the big guardian defensive as Jolson gets super low. Boss has big demon bolts to follow. Does he get a port maybe interrupt? If he gets an interrupt on holy, Joel's could be in big, big trouble. Trying to go for a bit of holy power generation. Doesn't stun the demons or anything as Boss sends out even more pets around the corner. Boss losing out on the burst from the demon bolts. That's gonna be a big resonant trinket onto Boss. That could be in trouble. Wall and dark bag getting used immediately. Joel does go for a trinket as he gets hit with a stun. Joel is still kind of low on health. He could still get bursted down. As Balls continue to just make as many pets as possible. Bubble out of the Paladin. Balls in a situation where he might be able to capitalize on. And get himself a big old finisher go. Actually, it doesn't mean you need big burst. He just to get some sort of damage set up versus Josie. Josie got wings. Trying to see if he can make some damage happen. Stun by Balls. Decimated Ball might just do enough damage by itself. That's going to be the Guardian Trinket. Stun to Balls. Does he die right here? There's no way, right? Josie getting hit with a stun. Balls just one more instant cast. Does get that one global. But he also got himself big Exicus toward Jesus. If he can send out Demon Doggos for a Dread Bite on Jesus, he can still do a lot of damage here. If you're under Jesus, could go for Lichborn if he wants to. Does Lichborn out of it. Boss got the demon dog is in, trying to go for Vilefin, gonna get interrupted. Flesh capped as he's getting interrupted on fire. That's actually pretty good for him. Ports away from Jesus. Flesh capped was able to deal with a lot of that grippy hand dam. And boss, he does he still has himself decimated bowl, but that pet, the A-bomb, all that damage might be too much for him. I think it's over. I mean, somebody had to stop down the rain of just damage from the warlock. Am I right? My goodness. <laughs> Those demons, I mean, he went for like a big one shotter build, but those demons by themselves also do a lot of damage. Not gonna lie. Jesus going in for a most, most amount of defense as he sees Judy Catum popping off massive wings. That's gonna be the dome dropping down with the anti magic shell as well as the age of shrink and flesh cut up for Judy Cam. But he is gonna get interrupted by Jesus. Not giving him that much of a shield. Continuously just keeps a perma slow to Judy Cam. He just literally can't go anywhere unless he got a hand of freedom. Which at least lets Jesus kind of back up out of there. Maybe catch some cooldowns back. Letting the ghoul stay over there. The ghoul can slowly but surely claw away at Judy Cam's shield. The shield of vengeance. And Jesus now can push in. He got no AMS for a while. Pet getting feared. That's going to be pretty bad for him. Jesus could go for IBF if he wanted to. He's kind of just waiting to see just how much damage comes out of Judy Cam. Able to go for the swarm, potentially send up so big damage. Does he have himself maybe the a uh, the A bomb joins in? The pet gets empowered. Getting hit with a stun with a wake of ashes though. Army that joins in. AMS up for Jesus. Could maybe go for a grip on a Judicam. Does get him hit with a stun by the pet. Potentially grip around the corner. No, not gonna happen. The pets are still low on him. The army of the dead is still clawing at him. Judicam does himself R49. That's gonna be the big A-bomb joining in. Bubble out right now. Hodge on Jesus. Could potentially go for IBF. Trying to see if he can just walk away from Judicam. Judicam does go in for as much self healing as possible. Did all your pets just blow up? Or did it just blow up your main pet? I think he blew up the main ghoul just to get himself a little bit of healing. Like, look at all his pets went explodey. And that was, used to be an Azerite trade back in BFA. I was going to say it for a second. It looks like the big A-bomb stitches man was waddling away from Judicam for a second. But then he was like, oh, wait, oh, I attacked that guy. Okay, okay, I'm coming back. Going to be that big grippy hand. Judicam might be in big trouble. Gripped him back twice, back to back oh, by Jesus. But looks like he's able to escape from that hand of freedom. Has himself. I for night coming back very, very soon. 30 seconds on Shield of Vengeance. Wings coming up very, very soon. Good pop wings just to give him some more healing. That transformed pet is going to do a ton of damage. Stun on the death that. But that pet is going to be able to maul you down all by itself. That bed should be avoided if you can't help it. Holy moly, getting charged on by that pet is going to try to build up a little bit of resources. Getting yoinked in by the Death Knight is going to be summoning pets of their own, Mages of the Dead. If only they could mind control and like control undead, the Mages of the Dead is the Death Knight. How cool would that be? 
because it is literally a necrolord mage spawning in it looks like that necro necrolord mage was attacking the pet wait did jesus have his pet just get eliminated i think holy moly just focused down on that ghoul that or he sacrificed it it was getting kind of low but i don't think he did oh there's a ghost ghoul again i swear to god i thought he killed the ghoul or holy moly killed the ghoul army of the dead joining in Jesus is going to hit with a fear. Legendborn is available if he wants to use it. Yoink and Holy Moly back over to him. Those pets are going to start clawing at you with an interrupt ready. Holy Moly is just under so much pressure. Can't really do too much in order to give himself a bit of a heal. Going to be a quick, greater fate for a second. Trying to land a heal. Going to get interrupted. Can maybe live long enough. Could go for disperse in case they're really in trouble. Might just want to go for disperse at this point. That's a lot of damage. And he needs to catch up on healing. Or she needs to catch up on healing. And dampen the damage at the same time. Try to go for Shackle and Dead, which is actually so good. It just stops the pet and plays stuns him permanently. That's going to be interrupted by Jesus. Still, Holy Moly can go for a little bit of healing. Trying to maintain the Power Word Shield as best as possible. Going to be that Mages of the Dead joining in. Trying to get some VTs up under Jesus. Looks like it's not going to happen. And Holy Moly getting Yoin back out in the open stun. He used to go for a self heal spot as soon as possible. That's going to get interrupted by Death and Death. Flesh Count might be enough to help him stay alive here. No way for Jesus to interrupt it. Getting the swarm up and running. So he's getting himself some more damage rolling in. It's going to be Army of the Dead joining in. Holy moly, better have a greater fate. Definitely use a greater fate. As it was an IBF out of Jesus. Has himself the apocalypse ready to go anytime soon. Though. Holy moly, I think is in trouble. Got himself a few into Jesus. It's going to be the pet clawing at him. Just to go for as much self-healing as possible. Trying to mindfully the pet. But that pet just getting the power taking him down. Down to Tagsy next. And also Beggar. I feel like tags. Maybe we should have said beggar next. Actually, I think either one of these guys could probably take Jesus down. This death that is spent, unless Jesus just out of nowhere just collapses the full army of the dead onto tags it with full pets. Maybe he'll have some potential here, but it's definitely going to be a rougher match. Forty-five percent dampener, sacrificing the ghoul for whatever life it had, and it's going to summon a whole new A bomb next to tags. It definitely needs to hit him with a slow next time. Amos is up as Jesus trying to see if he can reposition. Or maybe run out of Taxi trying to get dotted in the first place. Taxi with a soul shape trying to keep himself moving. Does have the gateway in case they want to use it. Going to be human racial to break out of the sun. Going to be you waking and set up. Could potentially go for the full dots on Jesus as he does burn the ages. Trying to reduce as much shadow damage as he can. Looks like actually Taxi is taking a bit of damage from all those pets. Taxi load up all those pets. The whole army of the dead is actually running after him. Taxi could be in trouble. So rot and is going to be able to drain life off of the ghoul as well as whatever other pets that were there. Empowerment of the dark transformation going to be Taxi trying to rampage all the dots, make him a bit more rampant. Fear onto Jesus is going to go for Lichborn, try to heal himself as much as he can. Death back just to give himself a little bit more health to work with, but the dots are going to be taken out on him. Taxi out in the open, getting barraged with those strikes by the pet, just getting clawed down while it's empowered. But Jesus definitely needs to go for another army of the dead, full pet empowerment, and the full A bomb limb, everything. It looks like Tags actually taking down the ghoul. And Jesus summoned a new one. I don't think he sacrificed the ghoul. I think he just died. So for Tagsy, that goal, I mean, it provides you healing. So maybe for Jesus, it's not a bad idea to just pull it back or just remove it from the field, not to give Tagsy a way to recover. Because like he just ends up healing completely. It's actually just back up to full 53% dampening, and that drain just continues to do so much. It's actually so good chain of ice onto taxi i think Jesus just waiting until he has every cooldown available he got that a bomb coming back up very, very soon ibf very soon dark back in roughly like a little over two minutes gonna be that ams before taxi gets any kind of dots on him gonna be that a bomb limb joining in taxi trying to avoid the a bomb as best as he can mortal call does get interrupted to taxi he's still gonna rampage all those dots grip by Jesus, try to get the army that they don't want to taxi. Needs to get a slow taxi as soon as possible. The pets are all chasing out of taxi. Needs to kite taxi into the pets. It's gonna be so rot trying to big heal by taxi on all those pets. Just deleted out the undeads. He literally just deleted the A bomb, drained it for all its life as well as the pets. With that soul rod, soul rod gives you opportunity to drain from multiple targets. And when you play the talent of inevitable demise, agony slowly creep up the power of your drain. So it does so much more damage. And when it splits damage with soul rod, it doesn't get reduced. It just will do that same damage to four targets or up to four targets. So soul riding those pets for that big drain was actually a big defensive value. Tags with full dots, Jesus is getting loaded up and tags are taking them out. Man, that was a massive drain. You literally use the pets that Jesus summons against him. Boss with four kills, Jesus snagging in three. Beggar never get to play. Let's see if we can get another one going, boys. 100% counter? Yeah, it is a really hard counter. Holy, I feel so bad for you because you played Arhi and you played a Death Knight out of all the people, man. Out of all the groups. We got to give you a chance to play again.